Coming up on today's video, we're going to discuss pre-WWDC discussion of iCloud, iOS 5, and OS 10 line. Coming up on today's video. Hey guys, Todd here with another video for you. And today we're going to discuss WWDC pre-WWDC. And it was just announced today by Apple that Steve Jobs will be giving the keynote as well as the long-awaited, rumored iCloud. Yes, guys, iCloud is for real. We're going to see it next week. And I want to actually read Apple's press release here real quick. Official Apple press release with that WWDC is going to go over. It says here they're going to talk about the next major release of OS X, which is Line. Also, iCloud. They're going to discuss um, iOS 5. So, what this lingers is, are we going to see iPhone 5 or 4S? Um, guys, I don't think this WDC is really going to center around the iPhone. I think it's going to be around more applications and software. I think that's what we're really going to see uh, Apple hit on with WWDC. I think we're going to see Lion. I think we're going to get a release date. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I think we're, it's going to be released early June, maybe July. I think we're going to get it released early this time because they're going to do it on the App Store. So I think we might see an early release for the Apple's, the App Store. Sorry. And the hard copy, maybe disk release, probably won't be released until maybe August or late August. But anyway, I wanted to spend most of my time talking about iCloud. Um, some of my thoughts, since we haven't seen it yet, I'm just going to give some of my opinions on it and read a couple things that I've seen. Um, apparently, it's been rumored for the past couple weeks now that Apple's been signing the music labels. Well, they have all four on it officially now as I'm recording this video. They have um, Warner Music Group, Sony Corp Music, uh, Sony Music Entertainment and EMI Group. So those are the four biggest uh, music labels that are out there and Apple has them all signed. As well as they're reporting that Apple is rushing to get movie studios signed as well. So basically what we're going to see or I'm envisioning iCloud's going to be is an online storage for your current music and also streaming music that Apple already has. I'm hoping this is going to be a subscription fee, like you pay $20 a month and you get unlimited access to all of the music and maybe hopefully movies, just like iTunes. Instead of paying 99 cents for every track you want or 99 cents to rent a movie here and there, you'll pay a standard rate fee for, let's say, $20 a month, $10 a month. I don't know yet. It hasn't been released. But we'll see that hopefully next week. And you'll be able to access all. It's kind of like Netflix, but this will have music as well. Guys, this would be huge. I would definitely pay for this service if you could stream music. It could be like Pandora and all these online, like Netflix as well. So basically, Netflix and Pandora into one. So Google, watch out. Amazon, watch out. I think Apple's really going to take the online streaming for music and movies. It's going to take the by storm. This is what Apple does, guys. They wait for everybody else to release their products, and then Apple analyzes what they're going to, what these companies are doing, and boom, they fix what's broken with these other companies, and they make it perfect. Not always perfect. Don't quote me on that, because there's always products that they release that have a few hiccups. But we know with Apple, like the fourth, fifth generation, it's perfect. It's flawless. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited for iCloud. Are you guys excited for iCloud? Please leave your comments below and tell me what you guys think um, iCloud's going to be. Is it just going to be an online streaming service just for music? Or do you think we're going to see movies as well? I think we're going to see both. I think movies might come later, but I really think Apple wants it to get to encompass every entertainment aspect. TV shows, movies, music, everything. And I think that would be great. Also, I hope iCloud includes the mobile me that's been a failure for a couple of years. See, there's a product that hasn't been the greatest. I mean, it's not a complete failure. But it wasn't what um, Apple or Steve Jobs really intended the product to be. So I hope we're going to get like a, a Dropbox kind of feature. If you don't use Dropbox, you should check it up. It's uh, Dropbox.com, great service. Um, but anyway, I hope Apple is going to release an online place where you can store all your files, your movies, and everything. Hopefully they give you uh, like a 20, or like some, hopefully a good amount of gigabytes for online uh, storage to the cloud. That'd be great. Because um, I could definitely use it and just give me another place to store my things in case a hard drive crashes or something like that. Do you guys think we're going to see this as an option as well in iCloud? Uh, hopefully online storage. Well guys, I think what comes down to the last thing, are we going to see an iPhone 5? 
I really don't think we're going to see an iPhone released at WWDC. We might get a hint at how maybe, yes, we're going to have another uh, event. But I really think Apple's going to uh, wait until like September, August or September, and they're going to have a specific event for iPods and iPhones. They're going to do a whole new uh, release. I think we're not going to see an iPhone 5. Like I said before in my last video, or a couple videos ago, the iPhone 4 s or iphone 5 i think we're really going to see the iphone 4s i think we're just going to hopefully see an upgraded camera a spec a spec jump and that's about it i would be really shocked if we're going to see an iphone 5 announced for wwdc which brings me to what's going to be the one more thing at wwdc i don't know but i think we're going to might be able to see uh the mac pro get revamped as well so maybe they're going to bring out a new design of the Mac Pro and leave that for the one more thing. That would be great because there has been rumors that the Mac Pro is going to get a total redesign inside and out. So that's my guess. That's what I'm going to go with. Please leave your comments below. And what, what do you guys think? What do you think the one more thing is going to be? I mean, we could not get a one more thing. I mean, Apple doesn't always do a one more thing on all their events. But I think I covered everything I wanted to cover, guys. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of my thoughts, give a pre-WWDC, um, some rumors that have been floating around on the uh, interwebs, and to let you know that iCloud is official. We are going to see it next week. It's been long rumored. I knew this was going to happen. I've been tweeting about it, and I've been saying that iCloud, we're going to see it soon. Um, feel free to leave you guys' predictions below. What do you think WWDC we're going to see? Are we going to see an iPhone? What do you think iCloud is going to look like? Are we going to see any other services pop up? Any other rumors that you guys have heard? Please leave them below. I'd love to hear from them. But, and also guys, I will be doing a WWDC wrap-up video or all my thoughts and opinions on WWDC after it happens next week. So look forward for that. Um, other than that, guys, um, you can hit me up on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Todd K. Edwards. Like I always say, this is a great spot for the join the conversation outside of YouTube. I really recommend you follow me if you're not already. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter and you want to get in contact with me, it's uh, toddrecommends at gmail.com where you can send your questions. If you have uh, thoughts or some videos, uh, ideas that you have for me to cover or you want my opinions on anything, just please send me an email there. It's at toddrecommends at gmail.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.